Okay, we're just gonna kind of <laughs> inhale it all apparently. and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I look insane. <laughs> today I've come to you with absolutely nothing on my face because we are going to be playing with some brand new Fenty today. I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be playing around with a brand new Fenty concealer and also the new setting powder. So I really wanted to come to you with no base at all. I also wanted to use the Fenty Beauty foundation. I have already done a review on this and I have already tried this so I know how this performs and the shade and everything like that. I also want to mix this today with the Radiant Lift by Max Factor just because I just want to see how they mix together. This foundation is actually a pretty good match to my chest colour. If I have a foundation that doesn't really match me, I always go towards this one. And this is in the shade 110. So we all remember when this baby launched. It was a massive hit in the beauty community. Coming out with 40 shades of foundation in your first launch was unheard of until Fenty came around. But they have amazingly extended this shade range in the foundation to 50 shades. Which also is now matched to the concealer which they brought out. So the concealer itself comes in 50 shades. And it retails for £19. In the UK you can get it from Harvey Nicholas stores and online which is where I got mine. I decided to go with 105 just because it looked more yellow and I really wanted to use it as like a highlighter as well. The Fenty Beauty powder retails for £24 and this comes in eight different shades so they have a good variety. I got the shade Butter which I'm hoping, fingers crossed, is a shade that I can use. I can't tell you how hard it is for me to find a actual skin toned powder that is light enough for me. That is one of my struggles, okay? That either don't oxidize on my skin or that are just plain too dark. But this looks promising. It looks like a very pale yellowy powder at least it did online I haven't looked at it yet so we shall see there was one shade lighter than this but it was a lilac tone and I don't want to be putting lilac color things on my face okay so anyway these are the things we're going to be trying I want to first of all though get my base on so without further ado let's get into the application I'm gonna go through my foundation very quickly because that's not the star of the show today I'm just gonna prime real quick by the way I know in my last few videos there's been like a buzzing noise in the background and it's been so annoying it's coming from my new mic and I'm still working it out at the moment trying to find out what exactly that is because I have no idea I'm completely new to using a mic but my partner actually said it could be interference with other electronics so I've kind of moved cables around and a few things so hopefully it'll all be solved now and there won't be an annoying obnoxious buzzing sound <laughs> If there is, I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I'm doing my best right now. That was just the Barry M Unicorn Drops of the Way for primer. Using a little bit of MAC Stroke Cream just on the high points of my face. Just gonna quickly clip my hair up. So I'm gonna mix the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation with the Max Factor Radiant Lift. I've actually done reviews for both these foundations. So if you wanted to check them out, I'll leave them in the little eye over here for you guys. I reviewed this foundation and thought that it was the paler shade but I was actually notified in my comments that it's not the paler shade so thank you very much. I think it was Gloomy Glam. Let me just check one sec. Yeah, Gloomy Glam who commented and told me that there was actually shades lighter than this so thank you very much. I might go out and buy it because I do actually love the finish of this foundation. It's just too dark so thanks girl. But we're gonna remedy this with the Fenty. I'm hoping, mixed with the Radiant Foundation, this isn't going to dry down as quick. <laughs> I'm going to try and cover my brow slightly. Okay, so there's my foundation on. I look even more crazy now. <laughs> so let's zoom you guys in so we can take a look at this concealer. My brows are so terrible today. I tried a different brow pencil and they look so bad. So please try to ignore them. <laughs> so I again wanted to bring you too close for comfort to really show you what I'm working with. I have lines underneath my eyes. So creasing is usually, well, not a problem for me because I have creases and I can't help that. But collecting in the lines is a problem with concealer for me. Not all concealers do it, but the majority of them do. So the claims of this concealer are that it's supposed to be instant photo soft coverage for all, long wear, light as air, and crease proof. I just wanted to show you right now that I have creases. Also I have 
horrendous dark circles as you can see oh my gosh this is so cute it looks like a tiny bottle of the foundation oh my gosh so cute so this is the shade 105 it looks very yellow <laughs> this is what the foundation looks like this is more like neutral hopefully they're gonna complement each other also i'm kind of worried because if it's anything like the foundation it's gonna be a very matte finish and I don't know if I'm gonna like that underneath my eyes. But let's try this anyway. This looks like a super duper pale shade, which is what I need. So let's just swatch this. Oh, <laughs> ignore the swatches on my hand already, please. It literally looks banana yellow. So I just thought it might be a good idea to show you some comparisons to different concealer shades, just so you get like the gist of the shade. And maybe you can compare it to something that you already have. Because obviously I know there's 50 shades of this concealer, so it could be confusing on trying to actually find your shade. So this is Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. This is the Barry M All Night Long Concealer in Milk. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in the shade Lace. So far it's the yellowest of them all. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. And then I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C.5. I'm running out of room here. And that's all of them all together. As you can see, this is the lightest, this is the yellowest out of all of the concealers that I ever have used. It feels very creamy on the back of my hand. Almost like a slightly whipped consistency. I quite like the applicator. It's like a long, tapered, flat doe foot. Looks pretty good. And let's just... Now, I don't know how much to use of this, so I'm just gonna... Whoa. It's very thick. <laughs> I'm just gonna put like that amount because I don't want to use too much concealer. So I'm gonna start blending this in with my sponge. I feel like I could have gone in with a little bit more product actually. I actually love this shade. I feel like on camera it's looking a lot brighter than what it is in person. Whoa, that looks so pretty. I love the shade of that. Looking now by the way, I think my foundation is actually oxidized because of that Max Factor foundation I mixed in. <laughs> story of my life. It actually has a slight sheen to it. It's not matte. You can still kind of see like the darkness underneath my eye. So I'm going to go in with another coat. I believe this is like a medium coverage. I can't remember what it said. Now let's blend this out. Okay, now I feel like I put way too much on. <laughs> Why can I never get a happy medium? Oh my god. Okay. This goes a long way. Well, my under eye is definitely highlighted now. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe it's looking very stark because of the foundation though as well because it has oxidized so I'm gonna try and do like no contouring and just use the excess of my sponge I feel if I had like my normal foundation shade on then it would look okay <laughs> but I love the finish of this it feels so hydrating and I can't feel it underneath my eyes at all it looks so smooth and like flawless under there I really like this okay so I'm gonna do my other under eye I get a lot more creasing underneath here but I'm just gonna do the same over here except I'm going in with a little less product than before <laughs> I did just add some more on this inner corner because I felt like the blue tones were still coming through so I definitely feel like this is a medium buildable coverage concealer I'm just gonna try highlighting with this as well just in the center of the face yeah, this product is very whipped feeling. I may actually lighten my foundation up a little bit as well with a little bit of, uh, is it called non-touring? When you do the opposite of contouring? I chose the wrong day to mix my foundations. What I like about this is you have a bit of playtime with it. It doesn't like immediately kind of set down. You're good to leave it there for a minute or so and it won't just completely dry down. I know I look insane. It's all part of the process, okay? So now it's time to set it and forget it. So let's open up the setting powder. So this powder is described as light as air setting, photo soft finished for all. Let me just say this is one big ass package. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and I've already got a fingerprint on it. Great, don't get me wrong though, this is friggin' beautiful. Like I would love to just have this on my vanity area, like you know. As you can see, the powder looks promising. It looks yellow, it looks very pale. I'm hoping this is gonna work. So in the box you get the powder, but then you also get this, which is a little topper. So once you've opened it and taken off the seal, you can use this and pop that in there. And then you're covered and it's not gonna go everywhere. Okay, so let's peel off this shears just gonna pop a little out into the lid 
Okay, so I'm gonna try this with my sponge first. Actually, let me just feel it before we put it on. Ooh, it's very smooth feeling. That feels good. So I've loaded my sponge up and I'm just going to pat out all the creases first with my finger, even though there isn't that many, just to be sure. That's now taken away a lot of the coverage. Great. It's still tacky, so as soon as I went in with my finger, kind of taken away a bit of the coverage. Pat on a little bit more with my finger, I guess. Okay, that's fine. We're back in business. Just gonna look the opposite way and pray to God that it looks okay. Hmm. It's definitely taken away some of the brightness that we had and also a lot of the dewiness, but it's not terrible. Can you see though? It's changed color. It's gone a little bit kind of orangey slightly. Since I have added the powder, I am feeling a little bit creepy underneath my eyes though. Okay, so on the other under eye, I'm gonna try a brush. I'm gonna try the 110 Face Shape Brush by Zoeva, which is like a dense brush and see if this makes it any better. And this is again my more creasy side. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so I touched it with my nail and it's just all moved. And when I try to blend it, it's kind of picking up product. No, I'm not having the best time with this concealer, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's powder this bad boy. Okay, I much prefer the way that that looks setting it with the brush. It's just smoothed over my under eye really nicely. It's definitely 100% matte. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys out. We're gonna powder the rest of the face. So I've zoomed you guys out just a little bit so I can powder my face. And I'm just gonna be going in with my massive powder brush, apply my powder the way that I usually would, having it all over the skin. Let's see if it emphasizes anything, takes away any coverage or anything. Can't work out if this has a smell or whether it's just my powder brush. Okay, so all powdered down now let's take a look at my face okay so it hasn't emphasized anything as far as i can see so it's definitely powdered masking as i would hope it would <laughs> i am very very matte but i don't feel it on the skin at all i don't feel crunchy i don't feel anything my skin does kind of look smooth but again the most important thing i feel is that i don't feel crunchy and really powdery so, so far with the powder i feel like it's okay I don't have any problems with it darkening my foundation, which is what happens to me a lot. So that is an amazing, amazing thing. I'm gonna go finish off my makeup, do my hair, and we'll be right back to discuss my final thoughts. Uh, I had to layer like four products on my lips to get it to look like this because I didn't really have a like nude with any kind of purple in it. So everything that I use will be in the description box for you guys. But anyway, onto the products. The concealer formula wise, I actually really like this. It's really smoothing underneath the eyes and also gives you a nice glow. It doesn't dry down matte which is amazing and you have quite a lot of playtime with the product. I do actually quite like the colour. I feel like with everything together now it looks pretty good. Obviously this is just a first impression so I can't really tell you about longevity or anything like that but I'm going to try this a bit more and then I'll update you guys in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe so you get updated. As of right now it's not looking creasy at all and it's actually looking really smooth underneath my eyes. The powder uh, underneath the eyes is kind of a no-go. All over my face it worked pretty well. It gave a nice powdered matte finish but it wasn't crunchy. It was very comfortable. It still is very comfortable right now and I feel like my skin looks really nice but I don't think this is really good for underneath the eyes which is kind of confusing considering it came out at the same time as the concealer but just personally if you have kind of like creases underneath your eyes and you want to use a lighter concealer then i wouldn't really suggest using this underneath the eyes obviously you guys saw that it kind of darkened my under eyes a little bit but anyway guys that is the end of the video i hope this helps some of you out there who are of a paler complexion who are hoping to try this concealer and maybe you were looking at the shade range and hopefully some of the swatches might have helped you guys as well choosing your shade out there i know buying things online is hard by the way i have got a few videos filmed already but i'm just popping this in before the other ones. I am going to be changing up my background sometime soon. Okay, I have things over there that I want to put up already. I just haven't had the time to. It's kind of sad though because Christmas is my favorite time of year. I hate the new year. <laughs> so we will be saying goodbye to this background very soon. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to leave a little thumbs up on the video. That really helps me out a lot. And if you're very fair like me and you're searching for people who do reviews on pale foundations, pale concealers, then why don't you subscribe? I could possibly help a girl out. You never know. Everyone is welcome here to my channel. Not just people who are pale skinned, okay? Don't get that wrong. I love anyone and everyone. But you know, I'm a pale girl myself, so I'm just gonna be 
trying out a lot of pale products. <laughs> if you do subscribe, then don't forget to hit the little bell button so you get notified of when I upload. And yeah, that is it from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And until the next one, I shall see you. Bye, guys. Well, I don't actually why because I can't. I don't actually know why because I could have come. Uh, uh, words. Coming out with 40 shades of foundation. One. <laughs> Ow. Rude. <laughs> I have a lash or something poking me in the freaking eye. Yeah, I'm looking orange. Okay, we're just gonna kind of <laughs> inhale it all apparently. Okay, so I've loaded my brush up. My brush? Oh, my god. So I've loaded. as much as I wish to be. Okay, anyway, but, oh, what did I just say? It gave a nice, it gave a, it gave a nice, oh my god, words, please, please come out of my mouth, normally. But I hope this, but I hope this, but I hope this, you hope this what? Let the world, well, let the world know. It's, you need to tell people. It needs to come out of your mouth. Ugh, get off my, <sighs> this is why I don't wear gloss.